Casey, welcome back to the channel. I'm about to put a 6 inch access hatch in my kayak and I thought maybe you'd like to see the process. First thing you need is a compass to make a circle. In my case it's a 6 and 7 16 inch diameter circle that I've already drawn out on the boat. I I'll turn the camera around and hopefully you can see it. Well, maybe you can't see it. It's a, t it's a very light scored, oh there it is, a light scored line. The outer line is where I'm cutting. Fortunately, in the case of Pelican, they've made a center spot, a little center dot for you to for you to center your, your compass on so you can cut. Um, you can cut through it in one of two ways. You can go buy a big old hole saw, which would be pretty costly, or you can use a jigsaw, which is what I'm going to do. So let me go grab the jigsaw and I will get started. So the first thing you're going to need is a drill. After you've drawn out the circle of your, of your hatch, you got to drill a hole. That's a good place to start. So what you do is you're just going to punch a hole through the deck, just like that. And then, it's as simple as cutting the hole with the saw. Let me make that mark a little darker. There, that's better. And there you have it. All right, you're going to want to clean up those fuzzies. Fortunately, it's pretty easy to do. All right, and then your hatch should drop right in the hole, just like that. And you can decide whether you want it to open this way. this way. I think I'm going to choose this way. Yeah, maybe I'll choose that. You can always turn it around after the fact. And we're going to mark the hole. I'm going to use this snap punch so it fits right in the hole, right where we put it. Each point at which I popped it, it makes a little dimple right there. And then it's just a matter of screwing it in. Came with these stainless steel screws. I think I might use a tiny, tiny drill bit and drill and drill those so that it doesn't tear up the boat. This tiny little drill bit. And of course you don't want to use a drill or a cordless screw gun to put screws in plastic because that amount of torque is likely to strip the holes. So we're going to use a hand screwdriver. And if you have a gasket, 
on the bottom. Hopefully your gasket already has holes in it. Doesn't look like this one does, so we're going to poke a few. And when you're installing anything that has multiple fasteners that all have to go in and line up, it's always a good idea to put all your fasteners in and get them lined up in the holes before you start tightening anything so that you can adjust as necessary. And our little rubber gasket holds all these screws in nicely. And just like putting on a tire, you tighten them across from each other. And there it is. Perfect place for your fish finder battery and your lights. That's awesome. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon.